creating a self-paced question set. I'm going to click Insert Questions. My new question manager will now appear. On the right-hand side, I will click Question Generators. I want to click here and say, I only want to generate five questions for right now. The top number will be indicated by A and the bottom B. I'm going to just say select addition. My top will be anywhere from 1 through 6. My bottom anywhere through 1 through 5. I'm going to click generate. And as you see, my questions have now generated on the right hand side. I'm going to repeat the process, but I'm going to increase these values. Top, I'm going to say up to 11. And the bottom, anywhere 1 through 7. And generate. And again, one more time. The top number, say, through 18. Let's say the bottom number, anywhere 1 through 9. And I'm going to go ahead and generate those. I'm going to apply my changes. Next, I will go all the way back up to the top and select Design View. From here, we'll see all of our questions displayed. Except, though, I want to go from 6 through 10. I'm going to double click on my levels and move these to a level 2. While I go from my level 1, I just double click in that space. It will now allow me to adjust the levels. The reasoning behind this is that I can say the students have to get 100% correct on level 1 before they move to level 2, 100 on level 2 before they move to level 3. On the right hand side, we have some different properties here that we will need to adjust. Primarily, it says time limit here. I like to take that from one minute and just say give it 20. This is not to say it will take 20 minutes to repeat the entire cycle, to go through the entire cycle, but it at least allows enough time so the clickers won't turn off in the middle of a test. Randomize, I'm going to change it from no to yes. So I want the questions to come up in a random form within that level. Here's another new thing. Test feedback properties. I'm going to select this. If I select these two, what it's going to allow the students to see is every time they get something correct, it will tell them is it correct. If it's incorrect, it will also tell them incorrect. And then it will also potentially send them a summary at the end. I'm going to click Apply. And then I'm going to click Done. This is where I might add a text box in the middle of the screen here to indicate what the purpose of the self-paced question is. So as the students enter the room or you have it up on the board, they understand what is happening. But I'm going to click play right now and see that now my test has begun.